Good afternoon, Fight fans, and welcome to What a Burger Field. It's a beautiful day here in Corpus Christi, Texas. We are so thankful and excited to be here. I'm Crystal Marie with Top Rank. Thank you to all of you for coming out, not only today, but all throughout Fight Week. And for those of you who couldn't make it out to Corpus Christi, we've got you covered through our live stream at TopRank.com. So thank you to all of you worldwide for watching. We have some pretty exciting fights in store for you guys tomorrow night at the American Bank Center. If you couldn't make it out to watch the fights, tune in to HBO for an incredible night of boxing. All right, let's get down to business. Who better to announce the weigh-ins than Mr. Thomas Triver? Take it away. Wow, thank you very much, Crystal Marie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Waterburger Field for the official weigh-in as we get set for a triple header, a huge night of championship boxing to be held tomorrow night right here in Corpus Christi at the American Bank Center. This great event is being brought to you by Bob Arums, Top Rank Incorporated, in association with Foreman Boys Promotions, PR Best Boxing Promotions, Arthur Palulo's Banner Promotions, Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing, and Tecate, Cerveza con Carácter. Now, great tickets are still available at the American Bank Center box office, all Ticketmaster outlets, or online at Ticketmaster.com. It will also be televised live beginning at 9.30 p.m. Eastern on HBO Boxing After Dark. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we are going to begin the weigh-in process with our undercard fighters. Now, just a reminder to all the camps, only one fighter and one member of their camp is allowed on the stage area. We appreciate your cooperation and conducting the weigh-in here tonight. Representing the Texas Commission, we have Mr. Lee Purim and Arturo Martinez. Well, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we will weigh in our first set of fighters. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, by way of Houston, Texas. He is undefeated with three wins. One of his three wins come by way of knockout. Let's welcome Roberto Ceron. This is a scheduled six-round bantamweight contest. One hundred eighteen and a quarter pounds for Roberto Ceron. Next to the scale, undefeated with five wins. One of those five wins comes by way of knockout, fighting out of Kingsville, Texas. By way of Corpus Christi, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome little Oscar Cantu. One hundred seventeen and a half pounds for little Oscar Cantu. If we could please have both fighters now face off. Again, they are both competing in a scheduled six round bantamweight contest. Perez Basias to weigh in next, please.
Perez Pasi is next. Aguinaga de Leon will be on deck. Salvador Perez, to weigh in, please. Basias, to the stage, please. We're going to move to the next fight here. Aguinaga de Leon, please, to the stage. These two gentlemen competing in a lightweight contest. We will welcome to the scale coming to us from Phoenix, Arizona. His professional record, one win and one defeat. Let's welcome Jesus Aguinaga. Salcedo and Hall to weigh in next. One hundred thirty and a quarter pounds for Jesus. Aguinaga. Next, we welcome to the scale, fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, by way of Savinas Hidalgo Nuevo Leon, Mexico, undefeated with five wins, two by knockout. Here is Eric De Leon. 129 and three quarter pounds for Eric De Leon. Both fighters, please face off. Hall Salcedo next. Again, these two fighters competing tomorrow night in a lightweight contest. These two next fighters competing in a six-round welterweight contest. We will welcome to the scale first, fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, by way of South Shields, England. His professional record, six wins, four defeats, with all six wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Stephen Hall. And even 146 pounds for Stephen Hall. Next to the scale, his opponent fighting out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, by way of Mioki, Chihuahua, Mexico. Undefeated, he has 10 wins. Seven of his 10 wins come by way of knockout. Let's welcome Alex El Cholo Saucedo. One hundred forty five and a quarter pounds for Alex Saucedo. Again, these two fighters competing in a scheduled six round welterweight contest tomorrow night. Okay. Raya Valdez next to the scale. Garza and Walters stand by 
on deck. These two next fighters competing in a scheduled six round featherweight contest. We will welcome to the scale first, fighting out of Fort Myers, Florida, by way of Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico. His professional record six wins, six defeats, with one win by knockout. Let's welcome Jesus Lule La Hacha Raya. One hundred twenty seven and three quarter pounds for Jesus Lule Raya. Next to the scale, his opponent from Nogales, Mexico. Undefeated, he has seven wins. Six of his seven wins come by way of knockout. Here is Oscar Valdez. One hundred twenty seven and three quarter pounds. For Oscar Valdez. These two fighters competing in a scheduled six round featherweight contest. A two time Mexican Olympian is Oscar Valdez. Garza, Walters, to weigh in next, please. Ladies and gentlemen, these next two participants will be competing in a scheduled 12-round contest, and it will be for the WBA Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first to the scale, the challenger from Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico. His professional record consists of 25 wins, five defeats, one draw, with 20 of his 25 wins coming by way of knockout. Let's welcome Alberto Garza. One hundred twenty five and a half pounds for Alberto Garza. Next, we welcome to the scale the defending champion from Montego Bay, Jamaica. He is undefeated with 22 wins. 18 of his 22 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning WBA featherweight champion of the world, Nicholas. The Axeman Walters. And even 125 pounds. Again, these two fighters competing 12 rounds for the WBA Featherweight World Championship. Our next two fighters will be competing tomorrow night 
in a scheduled 12-round contest, and it will be for the vacant WBO Super Welterweight Championship. We will welcome to the scale first, coming to us from Providence, Rhode Island. He is undefeated with 19 wins. 13 of them come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the 2008 U.S. Olympian and the number two ranked contender in the world by the WBO, Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade. One hundred fifty three and three quarter pounds for Demetrius Andrade. Next, we welcome to the scale fighting out of Glendale, California, by way of Armenia. He was a 2004 U.S. Olympic representative, and now as a professional, he is undefeated with 33 wins, one draw, 21 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the number one ranked contender by the WBO, Vanez. The Nightmare Martyr Ocean. 153 and three quarter pounds for Vanez Martyr Ocean. Once again, scheduled 12 rounds for the vacant WBO Super Welterweight Championship. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we weigh in two fighters competing in a highly anticipated rematch. It is scheduled for 10 rounds in the featherweight division. We will welcome to the scale first, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, by way of Armenia. His record, 39 wins, five defeats, one draw, 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former three-weight division World Champion, Vic, the Raging Bull, Darchidian. One hundred twenty five and three quarter pounds for Vic Darchinian. Next to the scale, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of General Santo City, Philippines. His professional record thirty one wins, just two defeats, with twenty wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former three weight division world champion, the Filipino Flash. No need to donier. 125 and a quarter pounds for no need to donier. If we could please have both fighters face off.
I'm glad you guys were able to get along up there. I'll Makes get along with everybody. You know me. I get along. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out here. It's going to be a great fight, so let me hear it, y'all. Let me hear it. To all the boxing fans, I want to say what's up to you guys. To all the Phil Lambs who supported me, thank you guys for coming out. Everybody, this is going to be a great fight, so I want to thank you guys for coming out here. Enjoy it. Nonito, this fight is six years in the making. Now, Vic has been waiting for his shot at redemption since 2007. You are finally giving it to him now. Why now? Well, I always give it to everybody, you know. Um, it's just, it never happened, you know. It's just negotiation and everything. So, you know, we, we, Vic knows that, that I'm open for a fight. I know that he's open for a fight. That's what fighters do. It's just the negotiation process usually is the case for fighters not fighting. Now, you were handed your first loss since 2001 with Rigando. Do you feel like that loss has reignited your fire with boxing? That's what defeats and, and walls and mountains does to you. It should only ignite you to be a better fighter, a better person. So, so everybody, you know, anything that's negative, you can always find something positive in it. And I found positive things in, in my defeat, the last fight, and I'm going to be better. What are the positive things you found in your last fight? Hunger desire and my 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 thankfulness to all my fans to all the boxing fans you know i'm thankful for them and i felt like i didn't give everything i got for that fight now i want to give everything that i got for the rest of my career well we're looking forward to it thank you nonito thank you so much vic like like I told Nonito, I'm happy you guys got along. You have some very passionate fans here today. <laughs> yeah, thanks to my fans say, all over from the world, from Armenia, from Russia, from America, from all states. Now, Nonito, he beat you back in 2007. You've been waiting so long for this rematch. How does it feel to pro finally get your shot at redemption? It's not finally he get me because... One time he become lucky in 2007. He catch me his punch. Now Rigo Cuban out school him. He wanna get his back his name. But Rigo out school him. I gonna finish him. I wanna send him to retirement, and it's gonna happen tomorrow. Do you think Nonito made a mistake waiting so long to fight you again, considering he's coming off that loss? Oh, I'm waiting six years. It's not like I'm waiting, sitting and waiting. Same time I was fighting. I won eight titles by that. After that, I won six more titles, you know? And uh, I'm just doing my job. I train, I did good. I train one of the best in the world in my weight division. And I, I wanna prove something. I wanna become more multiple weight division champion. And after this, I think he's gonna be able for me, 122, 126, fight any champion. And I'm looking forward to first this fight for tomorrow. I wanna show guys how, how good I am now in this, in this weight division in this my age you will see i'm very powerful still now in this weight division great this is going to be a great fight we're looking forward to it thank you all right back to you all right thank you crystal marie well ladies and gentlemen here with us we have three boxing hall of fame greats and it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you them at this time let's welcome the founder and chairman of Top Rank Incorporated, Mr. Bob Arum. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Mexico's greatest fighter ever. Let's welcome Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. And last but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, the former Heavyweight champion of the world, Big George Foreman. Yes. We're going to do a few questions with Mr. George Foreman. I'll come to you. Okay, great. George, we've been blessed with some beautiful weather here in Corpus Christi. What is it like to be out here today? I think it's wonderful. All of the good boxing matches will be found in Texas. Corpus Christi, the host of some of the finest boxing matches that we'll see this year. 
Now let's talk about the main event. What should fans expect to see tomorrow night at American Bank Center? Both hungry fighters and both main events, really. Donaire, you can see he want to defend what he's had, his little dignity, but his guy knows how to punch, so everybody can expect a tough fight, but probably a knockout from someone. Ooh, that's exciting. Everyone loves a good knockout, right? Everybody loves a good knockout, and it could happen in two, three, at the minimum, four rounds. Great. Well, we're excited. I'm sure everyone here is excited to see this. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Thomas, back to you. All right. Thank you, Crystal Marie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we are going to weigh in the main event participants for tomorrow night. They will be competing in a scheduled 12-round contest for the WBO Super Featherweight Championship of the World. We will first welcome to the scale the challenger. He comes to us from Oxnard, California, and he is undefeated with 32 wins. 27 of his 32 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former WBO featherweight champion of the world, Miguel Angel, Mikey Garcia. One hundred twenty eight and three quarter pounds for Miguel Angel Mikey Garcia. We now welcome to the scale the defending champion from Vega Baja, Puerto Rico. His professional record consists of twenty seven wins, just one defeat, two draws with sixteen wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning and defending WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Roman Rocky Martinez. One hundred twenty nine and three quarter pounds. For Roman Rocky Martinez. Now we will have both main event participants face off. Fight fans, let hear, let's hear it for our two main event participants competing in a scheduled 12-round contest. It will be for the WBO Super Featherweight Championship. Again, tickets are available at the American Bank Center box office, all Ticketmaster outlets, or online at Ticketmaster.com. This event will also be televised live beginning at 9.30 p.m. Eastern on HBO Boxing After Dark. We thank you for coming out and supporting today's weigh-in on behalf of Bob Arums, Top Rank Incorporated, in association with Foreman Boys Promotions, PR Best Boxing Promotions, Arthur Palulo's Banner Promotions, Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing, and Thick Gatte, Cerveza Con Character. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow night at the American Bank Center right here in beautiful Corpus Christi, Texas.
And now we will send it to Crystal Marie. Getting a little hydration here. Rocky's thirsty. So we're filling up some water. Rocky, you're going into this fight as the title holder, but yet you are still being called the underdog of this fight. Do you think critics have really underestimated you? Sí, no, este, lo, la, la gente ve en favorito a Mikey, Mikey es un gran peleador, pero este sábado, como les dije, subo como campeón y bajo como campeón. Yeah, Mikey's a great champ, but uh, I'm a champ too, and, um, and Saturday I'm going to perform. You are Puerto Rico's only world champ right now. What would this win mean not only to you, but to your entire country? No, no más a ti, pero a todo tu país. No, verdaderamente que Puerto Rico está de pie esperando esta pelea, esperando este triunfo. Y verdaderamente que este sábado no los voy a, de, no los voy a defraudar. Este, voy a dar el máximo, dejar el corazón, porque para eso me he entrenado y, y voy a retener el título. I'm going to retain my title. Puerto Rico is expecting me to win. I've trained very hard for this, and I'm very well prepared. Great. Thank you so much. Do we have Mike? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night at the American Bank Center here in Corpus Christi. Tickets are available at the American Bank Center box office. Also, all Ticketmaster outlets are online at Ticketmaster.com. Crystal Marie, take it away. I'm here with Mikey Garcia. Mikey, when you beat Salido in the ring, you broke your nose. The fight had to be stopped. When you fought Huama, you won in the ring. You lost on the scales. You weren't really able to celebrate. Now, if Saturday comes and your hand is raised Saturday night, Will you finally be able to celebrate the way you've always wanted to? I don't know about celebration. I just, you know, do my thing in the ring and that's it, you know. Um, I just got to make sure that I win on Saturday, you know, become world champion once again. And uh, I'll let my family and them celebrate for me. I see that all of your family is here. They're very supportive. How does it feel to have both your father and your brother in your corner? I think it's a great uh, connection, great team that we have. Um, they know me so well, you know, they don't have to ask me too much, you know, uh, of me. I have the best team, the best corner in the world, and they're my, mom, my dad and my, and my brother. So what, what else could I ask for, you know? And what should fans expect in your bout against Rocky this Saturday night? Uh, everybody's going to see a great fight. I think uh, Rocky's going to put on a great effort to keep his belt. I'm going to put on a great fight to take that belt away, and that's why it's going to be a great fight. Well, we can't wait. Tomorrow, Mikey, thank you so much. Thank you, you're welcome. Thomas Driver, back to you, buddy. All right, Crystal Marie, thank you very much. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night at the American Bank Center here in Corpus Christi, Texas. Get your tickets in advance. Have a great day. I'm Thomas Driver. So long.